Hey guys, I figured since a lot of you liked the style of last week's video, or not last week's video, of the art style video, I think it'll probably be a couple videos back by now, that I would kind of try something out somewhere. Uh, this one will be a little bit more casual, probably a lot closer to the feel of my vlogs if you watch those. But basically I have a small collection of unfinished paintings starting to pile up and each week when I need to uh, work on something for a video, obviously I start something new. So I haven't had time to finish any of them. I kind of want to get them out of the way. I don't really like having um, unfinished paintings sitting around. So I figured this week we could uh, maybe, I could kind of share the process of finishing these up and then I won't feel so bad about starting new bigger paintings because I'll have my old ones out of the way. So I have four main ones that I'm worried about finishing the most. The first one is this one. I don't know if it's big, big enough. Um, but this one is a painting that I started for my friend. It's a, a painting of her wedding photo. Her and her daughter's faces are pretty much done. Uh, her husband, I haven't gotten very far on, as you can probably tell from the picture, but um, I have a lot more experience with darker skin tones now. Than I did when I started this. This is actually the tenth time I've restarted this painting. I said I was going to do it like five years ago so I would really like to get that out of the way and I won't have to worry about it anymore. That one's an oil painting and then this one also an oil painting. This is my... sorry the light's behind it. What kitty? Self-portrait for the year. Also an oil paint. I don't like the background color at all. I don't know why I decided to do beige when I hate beige. But um, I posted something on Instagram and I was thinking about doing a bright red or a crimson and somebody else also suggested that so that might actually be what I do for that one. Besides that, uh, the hair needs to be finished, the hands need a little bit more work, I need to finish my tattoo and um, maybe add some like pimples and redness to it. So that's all for the oil paintings. Next I have this gouache painting of a yellow rose. All the base colors are there. There's a couple petals that are actually finished. Um, probably like a fourth of them are finished. This one's for my mom. She, she suggested it and since I'm going back to Missouri soon for a couple of weddings, I want to finish it so I can go ahead and give it to her. It shouldn't take very long. This will probably be the fastest one out of all of them. Next is this watercolor painting that I started forever ago. Um, I did the face for a video on uh, how I layer watercolors and I worked on the hair a little bit after that but besides that I haven't really worked on it too much. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for the background. I have a picture taken of it so I'm going to put it into the computer to decide what I want. I'm thinking a maybe using black gouache to fill in the background super dark and then also leaving the shirt light and finishing up the hair. This one might take a little bit longer because it's watercolors and I tend to take a lot longer on those. But yeah, that's the four paintings that I want to work on. I'm not really sure how I'm going to structure this video, but I would like to spend this week figuring out those paintings and getting them done so I can move on. <laughs> um, after that, it should be uh, time to start prepping for Inktober. So um, if I have this video up in time, make sure to let me know what kind of videos you would like for Inktober. Probably won't be doing the whole video every day thing again because that's a lot and I also have a wedding to go to in October too so I will be away for a part of the month but yeah let's get started painting I guess. Oh mm -hmm. 
Hi, um, it is a bit later now. I just finished uh, painting the background of the watercolor painting. I did end up going with black. It's still a little wet. I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that to dry the rest of the way, and then I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape. I love this tape; it's super cheap, and it doesn't stick to most papers. Like rip it up, but um, if you leave it on paper or anything too long, it gets weird. And I always like this like weird sticky like stuff behind. So as soon as that's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off. So I'm going to take a break to start editing the August vlog for a couple hours probably and then I will get back to painting. So for reference on this painting, this is my self-portrait. I just took a photo of it with my phone and then just like blocked off the, the edges there. But these are the layers I have for it. I have a light pink. I don't think I even have the ability to mix that with my oil paint I have now. I have a darker red, bright red. This one that I'm definitely not going to do. Again, I don't have to even have the picture, the colors for that, and I hate green. <laughs> and then I have a baby blue. I really like how the pink and the blue add this kind of like glowness around, glowing around the edges. So right now I am caught between the baby blue, the bright, bright red, which I kind of love. I think I would have to add more color into the skin because it kind of washes it out, but I've been really loving red lately and then the multiply the dark red is also a favorite of mine i'm leaning towards this one because i know i have a huge tube of red oil paint that would be perfect for this and i could always blend in other colors to make it um, more interesting but for right now i think this is what i'm doing
it is a couple days later it's september 11th now um i'm very quickly running out of time to get everything done um i was just looking at my planner and uh, my little sister's wedding is next week ah still haven't found a pet sitter for xavier I'm a little worried that we're going to have to end up taking him with us, which I really didn't want to do because he hates car rides, but he absolutely has to have his medicine twice a day so he can't be left alone. So looking at that, I need to hopefully start editing this video next Monday and it's Wednesday. So <laughs> um, I wish I would have done some painting yesterday on these paintings anyways, I ended up finishing uh, the sticker design for Patreon this month, which is something I really need to get out of the way since I, I am losing a full like three days of work time for um, the wedding this month. And then my little brother is getting married next month, right in the middle of October. So that's gonna be fun. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this painting. Um, it's pretty much just the hair on the shirt left. I'm, I'm happy with the face and the, I did the background the other day. So I'm gonna sit down for a couple hours and work on that. And the oil painting of my self portrait is pretty much almost done too. I need to add highlights to the hair. I wanna go over the horns and fix those up a little bit so they're more even. Um, and there's a couple spots on the hands that I want to like adjust a little bit and then I think it might just be it might be done oh shit I need a the, the tattoos aren't done either so there's that that's gonna take a little bit but so if I finish the watercolor painting today finish the oil painting by tomorrow <laughs> I can work on the gouache rose on Friday and then spend Saturday and Sunday working on the wedding painting. Uh, that's gonna be tight. Maybe I should separate one of the days. I don't know. I'm going to work on the, the watercolor painting now though. I thought I was getting so much done but now I'm like immediately stressed. Uh, I know I don't need to stress. This is just something I decided myself that I wanted to finish. It's not something I have to finish. Sorry about the noise, my air conditioning just um, turned on, but it's too hot for me to turn it off. But I uh, just finished the watercolor painting. It actually only took an hour's worth of painting time to finish it up. So here it is. I think it's gonna be kind of hard to pick up all the small details on here, but actually once I got in all the like flyaway hairs and stuff, it really came together. I'm really happy <laughs> with it, even though it took me like Pretty sure I started this at the beginning of the year, but it is done now. I just need to sign it real quick and then um, it's done. I'm not gonna work on it anymore. And yeah, since it's still so early, it's about 4.30, I'm going to start on the gouache painting now because I don't think it'll take very long. Just finish it up one, one petal at a time. <laughs> if I can get both of these paintings done today, that would be awesome. That's two paintings out of the way. The oil painting is self-portrait is almost finished. The, the wedding painting is going to take the longest amount of time, I think, but yeah.
September 17th and I have run out of time to record this video because I need to start editing it if I want to get it out on time which I still might not <laughs> but I finished my oil painting self-portrait finally so that makes three of the pa four paintings which is fine <laughs> I uh, I was hoping to get all four done but getting three three of those big paintings done in a little over a week is still pretty good so I'll just work on the last one maybe next month like free time in my free time after doing inktober stuff and whatnot if I have time it's for my friend I'm not really sure the next time or how long it'll be before I actually get to see her so it's not like I have serious deadline or anything but hopefully I'll get that finished anyway since it's my only unfinished painting now which is really exciting I'll probably start a new oil painting as soon as I get done with that one hang on I will grab it real quick the, the self portrait so it's pretty big I think this is the biggest like like I did another painting this size that was a portrait but this one has like more of the body stuff in it I think it's still but yeah <laughs> so I'm really glad to have that finished also that is my like serious like um self-portrait for the year I've done a few other ones I did that one for Anna Luisa but I wasn't really worried about making it feel like me although I, I used myself as reference but I like I did include my lip rings and stuff like that but this one I have the lip rings I included some acne and my freckles and stuff like that all my tattoos so I'm really happy with how it came out the only thing I th think I wish I would have done a little bit better was I think I could have done better on the cheekbones on my face but I'm not really too worried about it I'm not gonna go in and fix it I'm just gonna leave it how it is but I know this video is kind of different from what I normally do it's definitely a lot more chill um, especially if you're, if you don't regular, regularly watch my vlogs but it was really nice to take some time to work on finishing up some paintings that I've had sitting for quite a while so if you got this far or if you watched this video thanks for watching <laughs> if you have any other ideas on like random videos that I can do I'm getting kind of tired of just doing a plain speed paint video that uh, you've probably noticed I've been adding a lot more other stuff into my videos lately stuff that makes the filming and editing a little bit more fun so if you have any ideas feel free to leave those in the comments also let me know what you thought of the style of video I always like to hear you guys' opinions and um, I will see you soon for the next video um, if it's still up uh, make sure to check out the poll over on my community page um, it's asking what you would like to see for videos during inktober next month so uh, if you have an opinion um, it's a great way to let me know what it is Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.